And with the support that y'all have given to my video about how to actually stop stance offense to stand spam, I told y'all I would come up with another video about how to actually lap every single matchup in the game. Now, there's three specific methods to it. There's one I consistent, semi consistent actually do. I do it here and there, but it helps a lot. But if you was to do all three, it would build a foundation in your game, foundation to Tekken, and overall just improve your skills as a whole and knowledge. Now, with that, going on we're going to be choosing two specific characters we're going to be choosing your main character and because of the last comment that i have gotten from one of my fellow friends we have to go to laws because uh he would be thinking that laws is a downplay and laws is not a downplay trade so we're gonna let that rock so this i will be telling y'all the three different methods we're gonna make it quick we're not gonna be sitting here for two hours i'm gonna give y'all the whole basis the whole outline of how to actually do it and then from there the, the three methods and then y'all just go on with it and just you know improve it so first things first right what y'all want to do is go into side training mode this is step this is method number one i call this the speed kicks method so i was actually watching speed kicks just lap an entire an entire move list now it's going to take time it's going to take time to actually do I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let that i'm gonna let y'all know this now it's gonna take time to actually do but the whole point of this is to build a foundation of what you actually see right on a specific character so let's we're gonna do a certain amount of moves and then we're gonna move on to method two and then we're gonna move on to method three right so make sure i go right here right and we go down the whole entire list we could go through heat engages later but we go through strings right so let's let's you know let's do some all right we know that's a high mid mid can i sidestep that I can't. So I can't press a button. Okay. And then what is this? If he do if he do one one, how like what is he? Let's have him do one one. Okay, hold on. I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording. So I'm I'm just giving you out a basis, right? Uh start recording. You have him do that. So if he just do that, is he negative? Nice no, plus eight. So I'm able to actually get my turn back if you don't do anything else after that. So yeah, that's the whole point of, of knowing what they actually can do or what they can do, right? So now I know if he was to do this button, I could back one too. And I get a punish. Let me take off uh counter hit because uh yeah. So let's do it. Uh get a punish, I'm plus five. Or I could go to like uh if I want something else that's more consistent, and I go into that, uh uh, plus eight, depending on what I want as the frames, you know, etc. Now we're going on to the next move. Now, now after five moves, I'm gonna show you what to actually do. This is a high. It is, it is negative three. But you can't duck both of them. So that that move is actually good. So if you if you see him throwing out a one and then a two, you can't duck it. I'm trying to figure out if you could duck it. Nah, you can't duck it. Yeah, you cannot duck it. You just have to hold that. You gotta hold that move. That move is pretty good. All right, so uh, let, let's see if it tracks. Let's see if it tracks actually. If we neutral, yeah, I can't sidestep it. So I'm gonna have to hold that. Okay. Now we're gonna go into the next move. This is what we're gonna do after five moves, right? It's the third move. Okay. Okay. I bet. So we already know that we we can actually just stop. We can't even stop that. We could block low. On reaction, we could block low. Do we stop step? No, we can't stop step. Okay. We can block low and punish while we're rising four. And then we can also low parry and go to the combo, whatever combo you desire. You know. Hold on. Oh, whatever it is, you know, but whatever you want to go into, like there, there's so many options you can go into, right? So that, that's so we have that. We could also, like I said, we could block it, punish it with a raw rising four, and or we could low period, depending on you know the state uh, of the game that we're at. Okay, this move right here. Oh my God, these moves is good. And does it put him in a stance? It switches him to a stance. See, and that's when you actually lab whether or not you know well, what can you do out of that stance. That that that's how to some other video. Okay, so you can't sidestep this. Maybe you can, but King hitbox is just insane. 
So this is how we find out if if your character is just big body or not, right? We're gonna switch. We're gonna go to the character select. And we're gonna choose the same characters, right? Uh, well, we're gonna choose laws again. Where's laws at? Where 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 where's laws at? We're gonna choose laws again, and we're gonna do the same thing, the same exact move to see if I have the ability to sidestep. Whether or not if I have the ability to sidestep, because King is a big body and I can't really move out of the, you know certain predicament. So so we're gonna try it. What move was it? It was uh this move right here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I can't sidestep it. So yeah, it's yeah I can't sidestep it. Maybe I can power crush it. Nah, I can't power crush it either. So he just he just get that just because. And then for the last move we have three. Which is a high, which is a high and it is negative 17. I'm able to actually punish with a, with a, with a, with a thing. All right. So now with, with us having that knowledge, right? It's what we actually going to do, right? It's going to be real it, quick and easy, right? Uh, we're going to go back to quick select, quick select, uh, King, go back to my main character. Like I said, I play King. Y'all should already know I play King. And this is the whole method as a whole, every five to six, uh, you can even do eight. What you want to do is go to the select move list. We're going to have this. We're going to have this going on. We're going to select moves, you know, 617, whatever it is. The spin. We're going to uh, have that. And then we're going to have this right here. Now, we're going to make sure this is all the moves that we actually had. Uh-huh. And now what we are going to do is punish it. On reaction, I could duck. Okay, that's good. That's good. So on reaction, you could duck. This is a low parry. Maybe we could do something else. Let's figure it out. Okay, I'm not I'm not dragging out, so let me. Okay, hold on, I'm tweaking. Uh 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 Okay. I'm trying I'm forgetting my combo right now. Maybe I could go to the, uh, another heat. I'm, I'm trying to figure out my combo. We, we're figuring out the combo. We're figuring out the combo. For right now, we're going to do low parry to grab. And then for this one, we can't sidestep it. Maybe we could. Yeah, we can't Korean back dash out of this. We could double dash out of this. We could double dash out of this. Which is, I didn't even know. I didn't even know I could do that. Especially with King's grab. I mean, with King's, uh... Yo, I didn't even know we can do that. Hold on. Yo, so if if I see it, I could just it's it's weird, but this Labin helps. Goes a long way. Okay. And then for the last move we have the high right here, which is this, right? Uh, can I get him to play? Oh, all right. We'll get him to play. And then we just, we just punish with whatever we want to, right? Or we can do, you know, whatever we want to punish with. You know, whatever you want to punish with. And then you want, what you want to do is you could switch it up, mix it up and go to one through five, or you could just have them all playing and just learn how to actually punish them on reaction. That's back one too. Okay, that's that was a high. Take my turn back off of that. Yeah, launch that. And this is what you basically do until you get it down. Until you get the punishes down, you just you just lab it. Just like this. And you just repeat with multiple other characters. That's basically the speed kicks method as a whole it works it works it works trust, trust me it works and now we're going to move on to method number two now for method number two is the punishment guide uh basically now for method number two is the punishment guide videos now we do not live in an era where we live in 1960s everybody's on the arcade 
and 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 you know we have no resources we have resources some of them may be actually hard to reach some of them you have to actually research you know as a whole so here's what we do right let's type in the combo uh punishment guide. let's type in a uh, large let's do punishment guide we have a lot of guide videos to actually help so let's let's watch like 15 seconds of this we're gonna click on a random 15 seconds and we're gonna click on like uh, 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 10 seconds just, just skim through it right this helps look this helps right here as a whole it, it tells you what can you do the character that he's using is fang but you can skip through this and actually research so if y'all want to go check out this it, his name right there his name is pencil make sure y'all check this out right here check check this out right here no 13 frames it shows y'all the the most consistent moves that are used inside of like a large game plan or laws of flow chart as a whole uh there's other people to actually go through there was one that i actually seen from a guy uh let me let me just type in punishment training and i like the way he uh this person also did it too if i if i could find it if i could find it i don't think i can find it but it, it was a very smooth video and it basically let me look up leo because i know it was leo was it leo no it was uh uh uh, uh lee it was a lee punishment guy that i seen and it was it was fire i can't find it bro where is this where is this at it was like right here Tekken te Tekken arm armory right here so they would explain you know punishment guy videos they would basically explain what is punishable launch punishable you know they have launch punishable moves and then they will go to the, the uh punish moves on block and then they will go to the side step of moves and the parry moves and then they go to the the moves that you're actually able to duck in or dodge uh side step whatever move back and on hit moves so where if you get hit you can still able to like you have the ability to move and or side step this is mainly like a, a quick like summary of how characters work and how you should play around on certain characters moves and then step uh, method number one actually builds a foundation so like you have a foundation and then you would touch up on the main moves right you would touch up on the main moves but now you have knowledge about all the other moves that they possibly can bring out and if they was to bring it out it automatically clicks to you and then method two also helps with you know just a a, a direct on these are the moves to look out for so so it, it step method number one builds a foundation method number two actually builds a foundation too but it also helps with like uh just as a whole just knowing like main moves right so that's step two and now we got to get into step number three which is one of my favorites that's because it actually makes sense what well, every every single method makes sense but this is one of the newest features to take it into a fighting game as a whole and i never got to actually experience this in, in a fighting game as a whole so let's get into method number three now method number three is a very smooth fire method and that is going inside your replays nobody hey i'm so sick of people not using this mechanic i use this mechanic i should be using it more but that's neither here or there it's not about me right now okay it's not about me right now i just need to use it more so let's uh look up uh i don't even know let's just go to my random replays i'm be randomly just playing let me go to uh, the last time i played king when was the last time i played king uh, uh let's go right here let's go right here so right here no 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 not right here whoa yo let's go right here so right here this was a random day that me and this guy was going back and forth and i was literally i was just trying to get on the game and get off and it seemed like me and this guy was just going back and forth right shout out to this i don't know who who this guy even is but we we had cool games but i'm like yo bro i'm not going i'm trying not i don't want to fight Raina, bro leave me alone and, and then we just matching the back and forth so the whole point is this right here which i want to do right the stances you can apply the stance video that i made the other day you can apply that to this and you can apply the knowledge that i'm telling y'all now to this as a whole right now right so let's go in now what you want to do is realize the moves that you're actually getting hit by what did i do for me to get hit i jabbed and then i i i don't know why i dashed up I I did four for a neutral two and I got stuffed. Okay, boom, right? Plus eleven. Plus eleven. That move is plus four. Now can we sidestep that move? Oh, we might be able to sidestep that move. Yo, the tracking of that move is insane. Can we power crush? 
You can jab it. So I just been letting her get away with this. We can jab it. We can jab it. Hold on. Can I back through it? I can back through it. Wait. So if I mash down forward one, what if I mash? Hold on. I was letting her get away with this. Like this is this is why you go inside your replay. Y'all telling me the whole time I can hear her out of that? If she do the one more two and it goes into any other spin, I could just down for it too. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta see other I gotta see other consistent things. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, cause now I'm intrigued. Now I'm intrigued. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, cause now I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued now. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Yeah, that combo is, is, is crazy. Bro. I could also get down forward one. That's more consistent until I learned the, the counter hit combo right here. Oh my god. Bro. Okay. But now we know we, we're going to lab that we got that's where you take that into lab and take that to training and actually lab that right okay we got hit with a what it was a low a low high and it actually cooked me mm-hmm i ducked now i wonder right how plus it oh, how plus is she on that hit so right here can i sidestep I never knew this. I never knew this. I never knew I could just toss that bit if she was to go for a heat engager. Cause that move is is negative one. So I'm in the frame advantage. And then that move right there, I usually react to it. Wait, that's plus one now? I don't seem right. That's negative 14? And this is where we write down moves to actually live. So let's what can I get off of this? Uh no. And just in case you get up, we're not gonna go into that. Or maybe we could go into this. Uh uh. Uh into the wall if she don't actually, you know. Or we could go. Hold on. Uh Okay, hold on. I, I don't, I don't. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, I'm trying to actually get my wave dash. It's not giving my wave dash. Bro, it's not giving my wave dash. And I go into that and go to multiple other things. I didn't know that. And this is the whole point of sitting inside training. I did that. Why well, did that? I bought it up. I bought it up. I bought it up as a whole. But yes, this is what you actually do in replays to actually learn what to actually do in certain situations. Like right here, right? Me dropping a combo right here, right? Ah, uh, hold on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's what I should have had did until maybe something else. Ah, uh, hold on. You know etc so we have options to go inside this right 
but this whole feature as a whole just it teaches you a lot like i said i didn't know that i'm able to actually sidestep off the of the low the low thing i didn't know that that was plus one hold on what move is that what move is that okay i blocked that right see this is a punish right here so i will punish with that and if she was depressed because every single option beat every single option right there and even if that don't hit on plus one to actually go inside that so this helps you actually learn the game like i said helps you build a foundation like i said what did i get hit with What I try to do two one it's too slow so now I know two one is very slow against Reyna and that's how basically how you learn matchups I give you a three method speak his method a punishment gone method and a replays method and it's pretty consistent it's pretty fluent and it helps you realize your your problems acknowledge your problems and learn from your problems and when you actually do that you build a foundation a tech and you get better now all you have to do is just build a found like Ooh, I didn't know that that was plus two. You see, like, what? You see, like, right here. Hold on. So, if I just stay still the whole time, I would just easily just get a punish. So, let me... Whatever it is, right? And that's pretty much cool, but I was getting hit by this because I didn't even know that there was a third move. And this right here, I don't even know how to convert over this. So before we actually end this video, we're gonna try to see what we could do with that, right? Uh uh. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. Nah, that's going in the combo. Okay, we're gonna try this. No. Uh, that's too slow. Bro, can I run? Yo, I can't because I'm, I'm in a crouching state. And we could probably just get something off of that. But yeah, that's my whole point. That's pretty much how you lab in this game and learn every single uh, matchup. I will be starting my journey today on lab with every single character and then just building overall the knowledge, uh, acknowledgement and uh, awareness about everything. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if y'all are new to the channel. Support this video if you have it. Comment down below what problems y'all have. Leave a like, uh, subscribe, also hit the notification bell. Catch you in the next one.